recognized on Senate Bill 3229. Mr. Chairman, members of the committee, all we're saying is the curriculum is there, just teach it as a theory and not as a fact. And uh, I think that it sets a stage and a policy from the uh, state of Tennessee that uh, we think that uh, courses ought to be taught with truth in mind, and we do the same thing with the, the DARE drug program when we send a policeman into the classroom to teach about the hazard of drugs and to tell the truth about it. That's what I'm after, and that's for a teacher to go in a classroom, not be overzealous in their interpretation of evolution, and that they would teach it as a theory. Senator Dixon, do you wish to be recognized? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. I wanted to ask you a couple of questions. One, uh, do you believe in Santa Claus? Do I what? <laughs> well, I want to know if you believed in Santa Claus. I don't know. My grandkids might be listening, and I don't take you that answer. All of us know that, that our school systems teach our younger children that there's a Santa Claus, and there's an Easter Bunny, and we could bring a bill to challenge that as well. I think this bill, if it passes, and it probably will, will do great harm to the image of the state of Tennessee. We put fear in the hearts of those who want to speak what's on their mind. And so my hope is that, that the state of Tennessee will be better off without this bill, and, and I'm going to vote no because uh, I think some of us have got to begin to stand up and bring some balance back to Tennessee. Thank you. The bill passes in committee. The full Senate must now take a final vote. Politicians are mindful that supporters of the bill have a bigger goal than the humbling of science. I think it's not a reaction to science. It's a reaction to untruth, whether that untruth be in science or government or education. We want the truth told. Evolution is not the truth. I think now people are realizing we, we cannot shirk those, those traditional Christian values that shaped our lives, shaped our society, uh, and, and continue to hold it together. Um, the chaos will be the result if we don't return to the moral foundations of, of, of this nation. And I think what we're seeing politically uh, is, is simply a reverberation of, of that spiritual renewal that's sweeping America right now, and I think we'll see more changes in the future. I'm not sure that I know exactly what the effect is of the Christian political activism in our country, but I can tell you with respect to the General Assembly itself, we do have to be cognizant of the fact that those people are there and they are watching what we do and they vote they vote in numbers and they are particularly conscientious about voting so the concern is in the minds of the legislators that I want to be careful that if I vote against this bill it's not perceived as I've somehow voted against God I mean that's still not a very popular notion uh, we allow freedom of ideas but nobody wants to really be counted as saying I'm against God we come here this morning, Lord, just to praise you. Bless our Father the singing, anointed our Father with our Holy Spirit, has enabled him to speak. While politicians choose between what the electorate want and what the electorate need, at the center of the debate there's a deceptively simple question. Is this all a matter of faith or is it a matter of fact? To believe and obey. For it's in your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Evolution is another religious world view. You're not going to be able to prove that evolution happened, there was no one there. You're not going to be able to prove that creation happened, there was no one there. As a matter of fact, the Bible specifically says that it's by faith that we understand that the worlds were framed by the, world of God, by the Word of God. Uh, the, the evidence of creation, and it's all around us. The Bible specifically says that it's so blatant that we have to shut our eyes and we have to shut our ears, or else if we looked and we heard we would be converted I did not come to my faith in creation based upon evidence I came to it because of my belief in scripture and that will always be my position so the only thing evidence changes for anyone is 
their science, their theories, their ideas about how things are made. It never shakes their faith. And that goes for a naturalist as much as it does for a theist. If I show evidence galore for creation, it will not shake the faith of a naturalist. When you ask me whether my uh, belief in evolution is effectively a belief system, um, in a way, any scientific belief is. But it's a travesty to go from that, as many people do, to say, well, then there's nothing to choose between the scientific belief and, say, the biblical belief. It all fundamentally comes down to faith. Well, it does not all fundamentally come down to faith, because on one side there's evidence, and on the other side there's no evidence. How many of you would like to have life after death? I would. I'd like to have life after death. But, but you can't have it if you believe in naturalistic evolution. I have an astrocytoma. It will kill me probably in a relatively few years. Evolution has helped me immensely to adjust with having this tumor that will kill me. Because I can look at myself as being a machine on the one hand, and on the other hand, as being this human that's got this brain tumor. And as I look at my life, it's been, over my past, deeply satisfying with whatever troubles that there have been in it. And I can look to the future with optimism and with warmth. And it, it doesn't hurt me at all in that sense. Everybody's going to die. And so, given that everybody's going to die, how can you best adjust to living? So my life's no different in that sense than somebody who's pretty sure they're going to live another 40 or 50 years. They're going to have to adjust. They're going to have to decide how you live your life as a finite being. And accepting that you're a finite being, I think, really helps your humanness. Because we're all humans, we're all going to die, and it's wonderful to really come to terms with that. So I don't feel bad about having to die. Everybody will. I wouldn't mind having a few more years. The anti-evolution bill failed to become law by just three votes. Science is safe for the time being. But fundamentalist religions are on the move across the globe, confident that they alone know what is right and what is wrong. Science, too, is on the move, secure in the knowledge that it has resolved where we come from and eager to take us to where we go next. This will be the new challenge for religion. Can it provide the moral framework to control the apparently irresistible rise of science?